Here we are, friends. It is Tuesday, and it is time to craft your joy. And I have a brand new surprise for you. I can't wait to share. So hello, hello. Carrie is here. Victoria, Lorraine, Shirley, Susan. Um, Gina's here. Gia's here. Yvonne. Renee's here. Hello. Hello. It's so good to see all of you guys. It is a rainy, dreary, cold Tuesday here in Southern California. So good to see you guys. All right. Well, I have today um, a new craft room edition that I think you're really going to want to learn about. And I just got this about a week ago. And I've been playing with it, and, and so I've got some fun ideas on how to use it, but this is one of those things that I think the more we know about this, the more this gets out in the community, then the more we are going to find ways to use this really cool tool. So I'm going to tell you about my favorite new craft room edition, and we're just going to jump in and um, say hello. Uh, be sure if you have a question to put that cue in the chat around your question so that I can just kind of go back in and uh, just see if I have a question that I need to answer. Always like to say hello, hello, hello. Everyone's here. Bobby, Debbie, Linda, Vonnie, Cindy, Kim is here, Rebecca, Sandy. Oh, so good to see all of you guys. Big hello, big group hugs to everyone hopping on here this Tuesday. So um, welcome, welcome. And if you are brand new here, these are the places you can find me. So uh, hopefully this will kind of give you some fun new ideas for one of our very favorite products as scrapbookers. So let me jump over to my desktop and I'm going to share a few things with you. I've had to hold this thing down because it was <laughs> in my way. But what I want to share with you today is this fun new thing called the Sealer um, Plus 16. Basically, friends, this is a heat sealer. And you're thinking, why do I need a heat sealer in my craft room? Well, let me show you exactly why. Some of you who were on Friday Night Scrapbooking got a little sneak peek. and um, But this is the day that you need to see kind of how to use it, what I've learned, just having it for a little while. And I've got some tips for you. But this thing is ultra, ultra cool. So... I ended up getting, first let me just say, I ended up getting the Heat Sealer 16. There's three different sizes of this guy. There's 8, 12, and 16. Well, I wanted to take no chances because um, I wanted to make sure I could play around with 12 by 12 formatted goodies that I could maybe modify. So this is all about modifying our are fun things and I'm going to share what I've done. So um, I got the 16 inch. Now, if you don't have quite the same um, need for a 16 inch, uh, you don't have to get the 16 inch, but you could get a smaller one. So here's the thing. These things have been around for a while and they've been used in the industry for sealing cookies and sealing packages and hair bands and all kinds of retail products. It's basically this little heating wire that's in here. And actually right now you can see, I'm touching it, it's not hot. When the arm goes down, you'll see maybe, see that red light go on? That means that it's going on. So it's kind of activated by this lever. But when it's up, you're not gonna have to worry about getting burned with it, it's no problem. But when you put these two pieces together is when these wires heat up and they create a bond. And so friends, think about this. <laughs> this is so exciting. So I'm going to share because a lot of our things, including um, one of my absolute favorite products, Peekaboo Pockets, now we have unlimited potential on how we can modify these fun things for our scrapbooks. Um, even if you don't use the Creative Memories brand products, this thing works on 
pretty much any plastic. Okay, so anything, anything. This is such a fun tool. So before I jump in and share a few things, and then we'll I'll show you how we can use it together. I just also want to mention a huge thank you. So last week I shared yet another favorite new product and the response for my sentiment stickers, <clears throat> excuse me, was so amazing. And I appreciate every single one of you. So these are, in case you missed it, these are my new sentiment stickers, which again, go with this favorite new thing, the peekaboo pockets. Um, and so thank you so much for your support. I wanted to mention um, I, in the midst of all of this, I kind of came up with this other new idea for, um, and if you're not sure what those are, I'll show you in the book, but I came up with another idea as a thank you gift. And so some of you are starting, and it was kind of a mid, <laughs> mid thought process uh, for my shop. So some of you are starting to get this little goodie for a thank you gift from my shop. And what it is, it's basically a spin-off of the sentiment sticker. So it's printed on the matte clear sticker paper. And um, yeah, so Jessica, you got yours. So you're, you might go, well, what, Lauren, what do I do with this? <laughs> right? What do I do with it? And here's also the thing. I am, um, I'm going to switch this up every month. So every month you're going to get a new little, um, extra sentiments stickers just as a gift. Like you can't buy it. It's just as a gift. So um, this one says uh, better together. The love is this loved you and me, all these really cute little things. So I just wanted to share a couple ways that I already went ahead and used this in one of my albums because, you know, I have to make it and then I have to try it. Right? <laughs> so if you see right here, it says this moment, let me hold it up a little closer see that? So it's just, that's one of the sentiment stickers. And I just wanted these little phrases that we could add into our albums, just, you know, kind of in addition to all the stickers and everything, but these really general fun sentiments that we could just stick right on our scrapbook pages. And they're clear, so they just blend right in to the page, as you can see. And it just looks kind of fun. Now, this is the sticker that I designed for the peekaboo pockets, right? So this one says, lift this. And again, I have that on a um, stopped with a flop stopper. But that's the other thing, um, the other product that uh, are the directions. And there's four different ones of those. So let me just share also, love is this. See this? That's from your thank you gift see how cute that looks on a layering shape. It just says love is this. And then I had to add that cute little arrow. Do you see the little arrow on the love over there? So I wanted to add um, just that cute little, um, you know, extra little touch. And so that arrow fits right in between the love punch if you have one of those. So I just wanted to share a few little tidbits on the gift. So that's kind of how you use them, just straight on your pages, on a layering shape, on paper, however you want. And you again, you just cut them apart with your scissors. And uh, so that's new to the shop. I just wanted to remind you, I'll do another set for March and, uh, and all the fonts also, all the fonts here match the sentiment stickers, right? So, like the font here, I think, which one is that in? Is it in, I can't remember. Is it in four? I think it's in four, um, directions four. So this little outline sticker will match. I think I pulled the right one. Yeah. The, the directions from sentiments four. So every month I'll kind of switch it up and pick another font. So it all kind of goes together. And you know me, I like to be matchy matchy. So just thank you all for that. And now let's jump in to talk about what we can do. I'm going to put this one aside. What we can do with this cool new tool. And some of you were um, with me on Friday and you're like, and, and I said, gosh, I just, I just wish I had a peekaboo pocket that was a four 
by 12. <laughs> and then I go and I pull this out from my stash and I go, okay, you guys, you get a sneak peek, right? Of Yeah, now I have a four by 12 peekaboo pocket. And so if I show you this, you know, our standard size peekaboo pocket, of course, is a six by 12. And Creative Memories doesn't make a four by 12, but sometimes we want a four by 12, right? Because we have four by four pictures. So this is actually a piece of cardstock that's cut at four by 12. And I'm gonna share kind of how, why you should have these in a minute, but you can see how perfectly that fits in the peekaboo pocket. And you can see how it just, I just took this side off. Now, one thing I wanna mention is <clears throat> I have been modifying peekaboos for a while. And I did originally suggest, this is not the right one. Hold on, let me find the right thing. Um, I did originally suggest that the fuse tool works really well. And this is one that I modified with the fuse tool, the peekaboo pocket. But uh, tr truly, honestly, the thing that started worrying me is this right here. Like the fuse, if you don't get a good enough seal, it just comes apart. And um, so that's really why I haven't been talking a whole lot about the fuse tool. When someone says, I said, well, you know, try it. But when I found this thing, I'm like, oh my goodness, you guys, it is a beautiful seal on the edge of these plastic products. And I have tugged and poked at it and it does not come apart like the fuse tool does. And I don't know, maybe it was user error, <laughs> but you know, the fuse you have to, it's a hand tool. So you have to, you know, go along and you have to make sure you're straight and you have to make sure that, you know, it's heating the plastic to make that seal. And so I just felt like there was a lot of, um, um, opportunity for user error, including me, my user error. <laughs> so once again, this was one done on the fuse tool. Let me see if I can get a piece of paper. Then the edge is just a little different. I don't know if it's, it's kind of dark in here today. Sorry guys. But do you see how the edge is just a little different? Now look at the edge of this one. Look at that edge. It's, it's straight, it's beautiful, and it is fantastic. So before I jump in and kind of show you how to use it and my tips, let me show you a couple other things I've done with it. So I was working um, in my son's school book and I had this, um, sorry, I, it's kind of a part because I've been um, kind of rearranging stuff. I had this awesome um, birthday card. And I thought, oh gosh, I wish I could just take it and cut this down so that it incorporated into the layout. But it's a peekaboo pocket. And so I did cut it down, but then this kept flopping open because the top was cut and it, it just kept kind of, every time I would open it, it would open up. So you can see here on this page, I actually, let me see if I can unhook it here so I can show it to you a little closer. Um, I did the heat sealer. So I took a six by 12 peekaboo pocket. And once again, I put the heat seal right on the top and it's beautiful. It's just, it's straight. It's, it's, you know, really bonded together and it's beautiful. So now when I open the card, um, there's no flopping, you know, and, and you don't have to use tape. You know, I've tried double-sided, you guys, I could show you some of the things. They don't look so pretty because I've tried photo tape and double-sided tape to try to stick things together. And it just isn't as clean as this. So that's, um, one use. So you can virtually any card, you could take a six by 12 peekaboo pocket for any card you have. And um, basically like, here's this cute little card or maybe like a five by seven, right? I just got this card the other day when I was out with um, the girls and <laughs> it's so cute, look at it. It says, okay, are you ready? Are you ready? 
<laughs> totally cats, right? So say you wanted to go, that is a cute card. I want to save that forever. Um, you could, you know, basically just make a peekaboo pocket that would fit the card perfectly, right? Now, maybe you want to use a four by six or five by seven on a smaller card like this, but this one was a large card, so it worked well with the um, six by 12 peekaboo pocket. So you can see I just cut down about four inches off the top. Sorry for the for the glare in here. Let me pull this down a little bit. Okay, so not only did I try it here, but I also had this page of um, some of his artwork that was regarding the pet show he was in. And this was in a 12 by 12 pocket. Now these are the old ones. So this is the thinner, more crinkly pocket. And I know you guys, I know some of you have a stash of some of the older products like I do. And I thought, well, I wonder if it'll work on this, you know, kind of more crinkly um, plastic beautifully. Look at that edge. Gorgeous. So basically, before this was all the way out to here, it was a 12 by 12 pocket. So then I put his artwork in and then I thought, OK, I'm going to just seal it right there. So now I have a pocket that's really perfect for his artwork. And so can you start, you know, are the are the light bulbs going off like all the things you can do to um, help your albums kind of stay, you know, contain your things that you want, make them the perfect size. And um, like I said, you can if you have the fuse tool and that's working for you, I you know, that's fantastic. I was just like I, I said, honestly, I'm here honestly with you. I was struggling with it a little bit. So. Um, someone mentioned, actually kind of how I found this, someone mentioned, um, they left a comment and they're like, oh, I use the heat sealer for, you know, that I have in my kitchen. And I thought, oh my gosh, I've got to go try that because we have like a vacuum heat sealer for my food, you know, for freezing food and stuff. And I tried it and I was like, by golly, it works. But now I want to find one for my craft room. And so the one I had didn't have where you could easily see where the line was um, that seals it because it, it was a vacuum sealer. So it was like this big thing. So I, you know, went down the rabbit hole and I found this one, especially, like I said, because it had the longer format. So look at this for the peekaboo pockets. It's perfect. It's the perfect width. You can have so much fun. So what else can you do? Are the, are the light bulbs starting to, to ding and, you know, it, you know, go off? What else can you do? Oh, friends, you can have fun sealing things and making little shakers. <laughs> so um, I thought, how fun would it be to, um, and, and Kylie uh, Paper Sweet Pea is the one who kind of inspired me by making little shaker things. And she used the fuse tool. But guess what? You can use this guy, too. So um, this is a six by 12 peekaboo pocket. And what I did here is I took the C's Please collection. So that's the blue paper back here. And then I took the dolphin border punch. And as a treat for this week, because um, I don't really, you know, this is a heat sealer. I don't really have a product to, um, to offer you, but I do have these two border cartridges um, in stock, and I believe they are both discontinued. And I thought, well, this week I can give you a treat. If you haven't purchased these two border cartridges, I put these on sale for you in the shop because sometimes we just have to be reminded how cute it is to play around with our tools. So this is the border punch made with the dolphin BMC, okay, and then think of this like if you like this idea, anything that has like a little knockout design on it. So this one has the dolphin. That's why I thought, oh, it would be fun to make it with the dolphins. So you punch it and then you get the little dolphin shapes, right? And I thought, oh, those are going to be cute. So I punched the dolphins in the new uh, gray, the new gray cardstock, and then also in some platinum shimmer. So I have two colors in there. And so now those little dolphins are jumping through the waves 
And then just for fun, I got out um, an oldie but goodie. And, you know, if you have this in your stash, this is the bubble BMC. Anything, though, you could use a hole punch just to punch out some, you know, cute little holes. So basically, I just took um, the knockouts of these, which I did on white shimmer cardstock. And so those are the little bubbles that are floating around in there. So what I designed this for, this is a horizontal format peekaboo pocket. And so this one is going to be like when you flip it up, you're going to see the other design. So that's where I put the sailboats. And aren't those just cute? So cute with, again, with the dolphins in there. And so it's, it's the funnest little shaker card, shaker thing that you can, it's basically a border built into your peekaboo pocket. So this is a two inch border built into your peekaboo pocket, which means now I have a, a four by four, four by 12 actual, four by 12 format that I can put in the top. And that could be photos, it could be a journaling box, it could be whatever you want. And then that fits just perfectly in there with that nice seal right here. So none of those little bubble peeps pieces or those dolphins are going to escape. Fun, right? So think about that. That's just a little uh, idea to get your, you know, your creativity, your crafty joy going um, on all the things you could do with your border punches and then sealing them in with uh, the heat sealer. Okay, so Let's talk a little bit about if I've sold you on it. Have I sold you on it? <laughs> have I so if I've sold you on it? Um, let's see. Yeah, and and Beatrice, it's great for full straight lines, and that's again user error with the fuse tool. Like I was holding that ruler so straight and trying to get it so straight, but this just gives you the straight line from the get go. I mean, just perfect straight lines. So what else can we do? Let me, let me talk to you a little bit about um, how to get started with this guy. So this has um, a temperature dial on the end right here. And my recommendation is to keep it at four. Okay, right there at four. Keep it there. You don't need to go higher. Now, I've tried and I've played around with this. If you go higher, you can melt. <laughs> it's not a pretty thing. Uh, you can melt your plastic and then you end up with a gooey mess and that's not very nice. So just my recommendation is remember the word, the numbers four on your dial, 10 seconds, just count to 10 slowly. Um, and, and, and just four, 10, remember those. So does it work on other plastic? Absolutely. So grab some packaging. This is the one I just pulled off the um, power sort compartment covers and practice. So let's do that. Like I just took this plastic and we're going to press the lever down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And I want you to see kind of how it looks on the base here, okay? And then just pull it off. So that's it, it's sealed. Like there's a, I hope you can see it. No, you can't see it. Um, the lighting is just terrible in here today. Can you see? Well, you can kind of see the seal right there. So practice kind of getting your, you know, before you start working on, peekaboo pockets, practice um, on just some regular plastic. So you can kind of go, okay, I get it. You know, maybe your machine, maybe the temperature needs to be at three or maybe it needs to be at five. But I have found number four, 10 seconds is what works. So what else can we do? Well, remember the coveted three by four peekaboo pocket, which is now gone. I mean, I do have a few. I know I think I saw <laughs> No, I, I have some in the multi-pack in my shop, but remember this was such a size that everybody wanted three by four. Yes. So now you can make three by fours out of four by fours 
as many as you want because four by fours are part of the product line. Maybe they'll bring three by fours back, but here's the thing. What if you want a three by three? Now, the reason why I'm sure sharing these white cards is because this is the easiest way I have found to make, um, to have a guide as to where to put your little pocket. So you can see I made the seal along the four inch, um, I mean, along the three inch here, right? Now let's make this into a three by three. So I'm going to slip my guide, this is my three by three, into the pocket. So that gives me, and push it kind of in there, um, up to the top, and that gives me an edge to look for on where to place this on the heat sealer. And why is that important? Because this thing is black, and when you put a clear piece on top of black, I mean, forget about it, right? <laughs> it's like, you cannot figure out where to put it. So I'm. you can see kind of there's a bump on the base here. That bump is the, where the two pieces come together. So I'm going to put this, now that I have this white, beautiful white clear line. And the other thing is it does have a edge right here. So sometimes I'll use that to get a straight edge along here, right? Um, so I have to turn it this way. And then I'm going to place so I can see that bump along the top edge of the white paper. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So I've got this placed. I can see that top bump. There we go along. And then I've got this edge uh, lined up. So everything's right angles and straight. You guys going to count with me? Here it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Okay. There we go. Beautiful heat sealed three by three peekaboo pocket. Can you guys see those nice, beautiful lines? So then all you need to do is get your trimmer and trim the extra off, right? Now, once uh, I was reading the reviews on this and they do say like, um, after a while, maybe it gets like if you do one after the other, after the other, it might get hotter and hotter. So my recommendation would be to kind of take a break in between so that that number four temperature, which works so perfectly, um, just has, you know, an opportunity not to get too hot. But also what I would say is it's probably a good idea to always have like a little tester paper so that um, <clears throat> you can kind of, you know, make sure that you're not getting too hot or too melty. But there's a nice, beautiful three by three peekaboo pocket, gorgeous seals on both sides. And basically, can, can you, you know, look, what if you want a two by two? <laughs> you could take whatever size, make yourself a guide out of cardstock, and then you can, um, uh, just make whatever size peekaboo pocket you want. So my recommendation, grab all the different sizes and have fun. So how would you do that with a six by 12? So you could do two things with a, a six by 12. If you wanted to make it, um, let me see. No, you don't, you, you're going to want to do on a six by 12, <laughs> you are gonna to wanna to have a four by 12 paper, right? And so you're gonna to wanna to put this four by 12 paper on the edge because you don't wanna seal something in there, right? So put your four by 12 paper in the six by 12, okay? And line it up. And then basically you're going to seal along that line, right? Along this line right here put that on your sealer, seal it, and then you can just pull this out. Now, if you wanna see how I did this one, um, basically you have to kind of build and punch and then slide that in. Let's say this was the border, right, that I made. You slide that in and get all those little shaky pieces in there, right? So sprinkle them in there, have so much fun. 
And then now, yes, you're going to seal this edge so that all that good stuff is in there. Now, by the same thing, you could do, you could do it this way, right? Like you could um, seal different sections of your peekaboo pocket and have sprinkles in the center here and have photos in the top. You got to watch Kylie's video, guys. She has some clever ideas on all the things you can do. But to me, this tool is the bomb, like how, you know, the best on how to use it. So what else can we do with it? Does it work on pocket pages? Yeah. So I still had some of these pocket pages with the jeeping on the side. And friends, you know, I'm not a super big fan of the jeeping on the side. So guess what I did? <laughs> I cut the jeeping off and then heat sealed the side. So now I have a non-jeeped pocket page from um, the eight, eight and a half by 11 size, right? So um, if you, you know, just think about anything plastic. So it worked well on this pocket plastic. Um, it also works on... 12 by 12 pockets. So what if you want an eight by 12 pocket for your pocket pages? Yeah, go ahead. Let's just seal four inches off the edge. And same thing, friends, same thing. So you can see that beautiful seal on there, even on the 12 by 12 pocket pages, right? It's got that nice seal on it. Then we just cut the edge off here. Okay. I practiced on kind of a bent one. I had one of these that was bent, but you can see it works. And if you have some, some damaged or bent ones, you know, definitely, Oh, I didn't press hard enough on that, on my plastic. Okay. Ah. Okay. I think it might be time for a new blade on my trimmer. Let me grab some scissors. <laughs> And just finished cutting that off. So now you have an 8 by 12 beautiful pocket with the uh, brackets, with the jeeping and the brackets, right? So there's a great 8 by 12. So it works on uh, the pocket page plastic. It works on the old pocket page plastic. It works on the um, peekaboo pockets. Let's see, what else have I tried? Uh, it works on the peekaboo pockets. And uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm even thinking it would work on page protectors, right? So um, that is all the different, all the different uh, uses. So what do you guys think? Are there any questions on the product or how to use it, like that's, to me, the easiest thing is to create your um, guides and then just heat seal around the cards of the size that you want to create. And I'm so excited because I love three by threes and how fun would it be to add little three by three peekaboo pockets to your page for little three by three photos and just so many applications for this. So um, I think that was it. Let's see, I used that, I used the pocket page. Oh, all right, friends. And don't forget too <laughs> that now that you have your heat sealer in your room, you can also seal back up your Girl Scout cookies, right? Or your chips. So you can have a nice bag seal on your, um, your opened cookie. So that also you may want to keep, if you don't have one, you may want to get one for your kitchen too, because this, it even works on potato chip bags and, um, breakfast bar, you know, uh, what do you call them? Granola bars and different things like that. So it seals, it seals these guys up so that they stay nice and fresh. And, you know, we all have to support Girl Scouts. I bought my Thin Mints. 
are delicious and now I can keep them fresh right here in my craft room <laughs> with my heat sealer. Okay, so that's what I have for you today. And I have to say it is such a fun tool and like I've only had it for a week, but um, I just keep thinking, oh, I should try this, I should try that. Now, here's um, one last thing about storage and use. So this is, there's no on off button. It's basically when you plug it in, when the arm is up, it's off. When the arm is down, you can see that little light goes on and it's on. So how do you store this thing? Because the arm is always up. So what you want to do is unplug it and then it does come with this black rubber band. And I would suggest keeping it, <laughs> okay? So that when you are done, so I'm just going to kind of reach over here and unplug it. Sorry, guys. Ugh. Unplug it. If I can, if I can unplug, let me just go around so I don't go knocking everything to the ground. <laughs> but you definitely, you know, want to remember to unplug this thing. And then once it's unplugged, you can store it with the arm down. Okay, so unplug it first. And then I just kept that little black band, that little black rubber band. And so now it just stays together. And then it does have this nice case that you can keep it in for storing it as well. But I have a feeling I'm just going to kind of keep mine out because I'll probably be going, oh, I want to try this. I want to try this. So, um, yeah. Oh, that's a great question, Kimberly. So um, when I was reading about the 12 inch size, I was not, um, I, I couldn't see like what is the inside dimension. And the reason I decided to go ahead and go with the 16 inch is because our peekaboo pockets are actually like 12 and a quarter. If you measure them, well, maybe what are they? 12. They're, they're over 12. Like if you look at that, our peekaboo pockets are over 12 inches long. And that's another thing I thought about with the peekaboo pockets is remember how sometimes these are all always kind of like sticking up off the top and bottom because in the inside dimension is 12, but the seal, the seal that they put on them makes them a little longer. So the, that's the reason I went ahead and got it, went up to the 16 inch is because I wanted to make sure if I was working on a, a 12 by 12 page or the peekaboo pocket that it was big enough of a base, right? So that I didn't have to move it and then try to seal it again. But if you want the smaller ones, you could definitely get a smaller one and then you would just move it along, I guess. You could try that. I don't know. <laughs> um, and it was just a few dollars more for this. And I know it's a little bigger to store and all of that. Um, so I just went with a big one. The other thing, going back to the size of the uh, peekaboo pocket, I also thought if you wanted this to be a true 12 inches, so let me just grab a piece of paper here, um, right? So you can see here, see how much that plastic I'm putting the edge of this at the top of a 12 by 12 and see how much plastic is is over the edge. You could easily uh, trim this down, but then, you know, whatever's inside has to get trimmed down a little bit too, so that this could be a true 12 inch tall peekaboo, right? So it wouldn't kind of stick up the top or out of the bottom of your pages. You guys know, if you've used these, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Um, so it gives you just a little more flexibility, right, on getting page protectors on and all of that kind of thing for these longer peekaboo pockets. If you wanted to just trim that little extra bit, like you can see right there, it would be about, you know, just a half inch or so, quarter inch. And so you could modify that uh, to your liking. But so many uses, so many things. And um, 
I hope you give it a try. So let me just come back and see if there are any questions. Isn't that fun? I love it when there's like a new toy that helps us with our other toys and our other favorite products that just gives us so much more freedom to be creative, right? And we don't have to worry with tape. We don't have to worry with making a straight line. We can just use something, a tool like this that gives us a lot more flexibility. So <laughs> you like the cook. Okay. So Debbie liked the cookies. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So larger odd sizes, right, Carrie? So I know, uh, CTMH has those other odd sizes, but now we can make them all ourselves, especially, you know, if you have extra things and say you've got a six by 12 peekaboo that you cut off the top to, well, now you can take the top of that and make whatever size you want out of that. So, um, yeah. Okay. Odd sized memorabilia would love, Sue says she would love to make customized pockets with this. Isn't it? It's so exciting. So many light bulbs. So many light bulbs going off. All right, friends. So I hope you give it a try. This really is so much fun. And just, uh, you know, being able to have something that looks so professional and, and that you've made it, especially for whatever you're putting on your craft or scrapbooking projects just uh, the, you know, the ideas are endless. I mean, you, for card makers, think of all the fun things you could do to seal up and make little shaky cards. So much fun. Okay, so that's what I have for you this fun Tuesday, rainy, pouring Tuesday here in Southern California. But I hope until I see you next week that you take some time to craft your joy and I'll see you again soon. Have fun, everyone. Bye for now.